guys, welcome back to Aussie Arvo. Today, we've got a bit of a challenge for you guys. So, Supernova Lighting have hooked us up with three of their Spectrum RGB rock light kits, one for each vehicle. So, we're essentially gonna have a bit of a competition here. Who can make the best Bushdorf party rock, rock light setup on their cars? So, we each got a kit, we're gonna go home, play around the workshop, we figure out who can make the best setup. We're gonna be judging, critiquing the wiring, Critiquing the partiness, the bush doofiness, all that stuff. Practicality. Practicality. Oh, they are rock lights after all. Oh, sorry. And the, yeah, I think it's a funny thing. We always forget about that, don't we? They, they are all well, like... Patrick Some people would I'm just man. thinking about RGB with antennas on my car. No. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we're going to go home. We're going to do this. Come back. Independent review panel is going to critique. No, the viewers are going to critique. Yeah, they're our independent review panel. They don't know it yet, but they are. <laughs> they are. Because whether we told them to critique or not, you know they're yeah, gone. Yeah, well, that's it. So they're gonna go home. We're gonna go home, get these rock lights installed, and we'll see who else best it up. So let's go get, get to do it. Now, I know a lot of people are gonna cringe about this mod. Like, do you need rock lights? No, you don't really need rock lights unless you're doing crazy night for all driving, which none of us are doing. But it's a fun mod, and us boys can definitely get around that. All right, so here we have the Spectrum RGB rock lights by Supernova. Uh, as you can see, we've got the eight-piece kit here. So that's, you know, your eight lights, uh, eight bits of mounting hardware, and your wiring loom to suit. And this is pretty much as simple as it gets when it comes to installing something. Um, it's literally all rewired. You just have to screw the plugs together. The hardest part's figuring out where you want to put them. And so that's the task that we're challenged with today. So these are fully waterproof, weatherproof. Um, so they've got all waterproof seals on the connections. Obviously their intended purpose being rock lights, they're going to be getting covered in mud, you know, Talangi mud and silt, you know, you don't want anything getting in the connections. Same for the lights, they're all fully sealed. Look pretty sturdy too. I reckon they'll take a few hits. One thing to note with this kit, uh, it does come with a lot of wiring. So these are varying length cables from like 3.5 meters to five meters. And you might think that is um, a crazy amount of cabling, which in some ap applications, sure, but they're pretty much done to cater for any needs. If you have to run a cable right from the, you know, say your battery's right in the very back of your car and your light's right at the very front, they're pretty much just allowed for enough length, essentially. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of cable management with some cable ties, make it look uh, all sort of neat, but um, better than having to extend cables, I suppose, and gives you a bit more um, versatility in where you wanna mount them. All right, so as you can see behind me, patrol's on the hoist, because um, I'm gonna be mounting these underneath the car, mainly because there's not a whole lot of spots I can do it on the roof or anything, don't have a roof rack. So underneath the car's gonna be the best spot and also the best spot for actual rock lights at night driving. Patrick's got a few different ideas. He thinks he's gonna do someone on the roof, maybe some party camp light type things, you know. So anyway, let's just get stuck into it and see how it all turns out. Yeah. So as Liam said, I was gonna do something a bit different and mount them on the roof, even though they're rock lights, sort of do a bit of like a party light setup. So what I've done is basically been bolting them into the roof rack and their little, um, in the clamp plate for the gutter. Um, and they're actually going in pretty good so far. Um, I've done three, so <laughs> gotta do Another five, but yeah, once they're all on, they should hopefully point straight down here and illuminate the ground next to me. So um, I'm looking forward to it. Then I'm gonna run all the, run the power, a negative, um, down into the door. I'm gonna play around the wiring and get it all nice and streamlined and then um, yeah, wire it into my box. So yeah, go keep on doing, doing that. So the first, the hardest part was deciding where I wanted to put them. Like obviously yeah, I'm putting them underneath, but I needed to figure out the areas, one where it wouldn't like intrude, where there was already a spot that was easy to mount and that it would throw the best light. Cause I don't, I don't want to like throw shadows. I want it like just straight light, no obstructions. So uh, there's already a tapped hole on the chassis, which I had a couple of bolts for. So I just uh, bent up a couple of brackets. So this will pretty much get the light up out of harm's way sort of thing and sit in between the sill and the chassis. So one of them either side and then the other ones are gonna mount to the tray and then also a couple up the front. So. Yeah, making progress. All right, so we're here in the shed. I'm ready to put the Spectrum RGB rock lights on the patrol. Um, now, I've gone with uh, roof mounting for these. You can mount them anywhere on your car, but uh, I wanted more light for camping and that sort of thing rather than just for effect, but uh, also for the parties. So um, I'm gonna make some little brackets, mount them up here, as you can see, on about a 45 degree angle, so they'll be lighting up the ground and uh, yeah. I'm going to get to it, make some little brackets, and I will see you guys when we're uh, lighting up the night. Cheers. We carried on installing the rock lights in very different ways from each other, but ended up with three bush doof ready for wool drives. 
All right, so it's been a few weeks now and we've got all the cars here. It's pitch black and we're gonna see how these lights actually look and who ended up with the best setup. So we're gonna go around each one of the cars, show you how they did it, and then, um, yeah, at the end, have the big bush door and see which one's <laughs> the best. So, so we'll start with my car first and then make our way through the convoy and uh, end up with Dan. So let's get into it, we'll do the cruiser. All right, so you all saw the install going down on my car. It's actually turned out really well. The angle I put them on, it spreads the light pretty far. Um, I would have probably liked it to angle it maybe a little bit down just to light up the area here a bit better. But overall, it worked, worked out pretty well. Now, yes, the cabling is a bit of a nightmare. Like you have five meters of cable and it's pretty hard to sort of tuck it away. You can see I've tried my best um, to wrap it around the roof rack um, and to sort of spread out the cables. Um, it was a lot worse and I've sort of slowly been making it better and better over time but I think that's just one of the issues is when you're trying to put them on the roof you got to run the cables to your little junction box and then obviously into power so you can see I've run them down through the door with my other lights accessories but um yeah apart from that they're bloody solid they're not going anywhere um and actually you should look really awesome at night so that's my car that's my setup rate my wiring <laughs> and now we'll move on to Liam's all right so on the ute I've uh, decided to go for the intended purpose of the rock lights, well, which is rock lights. So pretty much I've got them scattered, as you saw, various places on the car. I've got a couple on the front to sort of light up all the suspension components, things like that. Uh, I've got one under each door, which I also thought might use as a double like to light up where you have to jump out of your car. And then I've got one in front of the rear wheel and one behind the rear wheel. So it's pretty even across the board. I don't have one at the back, but it doesn't need it because the tray is so open, it sort of all lights everything up anyway. But they do, I actually will be keen to test these as rock lights. They're definitely not They're definitely not intended as camping lights because most of the light's being thrown down. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see them as rock lights and of course they look pretty cool when you drive them along. Yeah, so they turned out pretty well and yeah, we'll, we'll wait and see how they look when they're all lit up. All right, so I decided to put my rock lights on the roof rack, same as Patrick, but as you'd expect, I've done this properly. So I made these little uh, angle brackets out of a uh, 3mm aluminium sheet. They're painted black and they're a single center mount bolt so I can undo the bolt and change the angle. So I've currently got the front and the rear one angled at 45 to sort of spread the light wheel to wheel. Um, they make grouse camping lights up here and I've tilted them down on a fair angle so they light up pretty much right beside the car is the brightest spot. I've tucked all my wiring in, in under the roof rack mounts so it's all pretty well hidden. Um, it was a, just a bit more time consuming running everything around but I'm really happy with the end result so it kind of makes it worth the time. The only thing that I am going to do is the wiring feed to it is currently just temporary. Um, once I put a snorkel on, I'm going to run the wiring down with that because I didn't want to go drilling holes in the roof, obviously. So, um, yeah, that's mine and uh, wait until we see them all lit up. So the Land Cruiser's up first. Just using the app on your phone, you can just remotely turn them on. So, as you can see, my setup is going to try and be like sort of camp light party setup. That's the idea behind it. It throws out a decent spectrum, like you can see where the cutoff point is here, which I think is pretty good. Um, obviously, I reckon Dan's with the brackets probably has an advantage on this, but still, it throws them a decent way. That side, you can see it lighting up on this side. It might be hard to see on camera, but in person, it's hitting that whole valley. You can see the trees lighting up, um, and it's really quite bright. I'll show you, this is the white. So with the whites, you could pretty much use these as camp lights. Like honestly use them as camp lights. So they're very bright. You've got a heap of cool modes on here. We got the rave mode on here. Oh, it, it, they're sick. But anyway, that's how I did a Land Cruiser. But let's go see Liam's Patrol. And remember to tell us in the comments which one you like the best. So let's go into Liam's. So let's see how the lights work as rock lights. We'll start them off with just straight ult ultimate lighting mode. So if you can imagine, you know, it's midnight. You've been stuck out on the tracks all day. You've broken 10 snatch straps and your winch is busted and you're relying on your lights to try and clear your way. They do throw a pretty good light underneath. And I actually reckon these could be used to the point, if you had to do a fix on your car in the night, you could definitely pull apart a fair few things with these lights on. Like, they actually throw a fair bit of light. But obviously it looks very cool lighting up all the suspension components and that at the front. I really like how the front one's turned out. I've actually got two here at the front um, next to each other just to get you know, maximum light down in front. One straight under the door. So this actually lights up the where you step out pretty well in case you've got any potholes or any ankle breakers sitting below your doors you don't want to run into. The one in front of the uh, wheel arch lights up all that front area and then the one behind pretty much does the whole back of the tray. And then obviously you've got all your different colors as well. So again, using the app, you can do all sorts of cool things like that. And I'm sure you're all familiar with, you've probably seen plenty of you know, cars driving along the freeway at night and they've got these things flashing in the wheel arches when they're flying down the freeway. 
Um, so yeah, that and, and you know, even not as rock lights, they obviously look pretty cool. I'm actually really happy with how they turned out. I do actually really like the idea of having camp lights, um, just because like when you go camping, I think that'd be awesome to be able to, um, you know, use them as camp lights if you're having, you know, like a bit of a party or whatever, something like that. Uh, but obviously these are super cool as well. So let's see how Dan's look. All right, so as uh, we went through before, I've got my lights mounted to the roof rack and uh, I think they came out pretty good. They throw a good bit of light all around the car. Gonna be sweet for camping. So um, let's check them out. Hopefully you like them. We'll start off with the plain white. Now, as you can see, these throw a pretty good bit of light like all around the car. And even if you open the doors, they'll actually throw a bit of light inside because of angle to bounce so far. The front and rear lights being put on an angle sort of makes them throw right out to the front of the car here and past it. But uh, let's get to what everyone really wants to see, the uh, bush dupe effects. So let's start with the rainbow. Um, yeah, so it lights up the whole sides of the car, which I'm really happy with. And uh, yeah, I think they came up mint. Uh, yeah. It illuminates the vehicle. Well, that's what I wanted. I wanted it yeah. to not only throw light for camping, but also actually light up the car. So yeah. you can sort of see a silhouette of the car. Oh, in, exactly in the right. Pitch black. Yeah, no, um, that looks If I flick that to like red, it really lights up the whole sides of the yeah. car. Oh, exactly right. I think that'll right. look sick. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely usable as camp lights. Oh yeah, hundred like, percent. You, you wouldn't think that here, for a rock light. But well, that's like, what we looked it up, right? Uh, Paddy, we went through this the other day. These drag half an amp. Yeah, half an amp, like on on any setting. So, well, obviously less on some settings, but yeah. on that bright flat out setting, max draw is half an amp. They're so, so efficient. Yeah, so you could have that. You could leave that running for like all night mm. and have not a worry. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I mean, as far as camp lighting. Like the light they actually throw on straight white is, I think, incredible. Like for the size of the light, definitely usable. So yeah, really happy with the light output, and um, yeah, keen to get out the bush and use them. So the really cool thing about these is, if you and your mates all set your cars up with these, you're all away together, you all want to party. Check this out. Check that out. Imagine this, you're up the Murray with your mates, it's the weekend, it's getting dark, you're all getting rowdy, you can all hook up your cars together. I think that looks awesome, awesome. Around the campfire, all night, at half an amp. So that's the Spectrum RGB kit done in our four Bs. Let us know in the comments, which one did you like the most? Let us know, um, but if you were interested in buying yourself a set, use our link in the, in the video description because that actually helps the channel out. Uh, it supports us guys to keep making the videos. So, all right, so before we go, we've got a couple quick announcements to make. So while we're actually filming the Rocklight video, Supernova Lighting came out with a brighter Rocklight. It's called the Spectrum Extreme. It's actually 250% brighter than the ones we use on our cars. So I'll leave that down in the description if you guys want to check it out. Once again, using our links helps support the channel. Um, but speaking of supporting the channel, we want to give back to you guys. So we're actually going to run a, a giveaway, giving away one of their new Spectrum Extreme kits um, on our Instagram. So just subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on Instagram and you'll see there's a post there and then you can leave a comment on that post. All the rules will be on that post. Yeah, but, pretty um, much comment on that post and you'll go into the running to have a chance of getting yourself a set of the, of the rock lights. Yeah, exactly. So, so we'll announce that in seven days or so, but, and we'll throw on some new stickers because we've actually got new stickers. So they're the same same old design, same great quality. They're just back in but stock. They're back in stock. Finally. So they're, they're so. not really new. They're just back in stock finally yeah. after months. So if you do want to support the channel, they're five bucks, free shipping Australia wide. So. Love to see one in your rig, so yeah, great way to support the channel. But anyway, thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you in the next one.